Welcome to Solve It with Speed Tech, where we share common knowledge on how to solve information communication technology and media-related problems. I want to thank and appreciate all my subscribers for your support and engagements. I also appreciate everyone for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. And please, if you are new to this channel, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. Give this video thumbs up and share. In this video, I want to show you how to connect two or more computer systems together for the purpose of sharing files and folders using wireless connection. Before I continue, I will take some time and explain the reasons why files can be shared among systems. File sharing is a method used by some organizations where multiple employees have access to the same files. How the files are accessed does vary depending on the user environment. The files could be shared between two computers. Where the files are stored on one computer, and another user accesses them from their workstation. Some of the benefits of file sharing are as follows. 1. It saves time as employees don't have to worry about sending files through email, uploading, or downloading the files. Instead, they can quickly access the data they need when is needed. 2. It eliminates multiple file versions, because instead of having multiple versions of the same file with different information, all the information is current and is always the most up-to-date version of the file. 3. It saves money, because you don't have to worry about users having sufficient storage space on their workstations to save files when you save data on a network server. 4. It prevents loss of data, because in the event of a computer crash, data is not lost when it is saved on a server with nightly data backups. Having highlighted some of the benefits of file sharing, Let's dive into the process of enabling files and folders sharing using wireless network. In order to achieve file and folder sharing among computer systems, all the computers must be connected to the same wireless network. This can be done by using a mobile phone hotspot or a wireless router. When using a mobile phone hotspot, each computer must connect to the hotspot using the Wi-Fi network name and password provided by the phone. Once all computers are connected to the same hotspot, they will be able to share files and folders with each other. Alternatively, a wireless router can be used to create a local network for the computers to connect to. The router must be set up with a unique network name and password, which each computer will use to connect. Once all computers are connected to the same router, they will be able to share files and folders seamlessly. It is important to ensure that all computers are connected to the same network in order for file and folder sharing to work properly. Without a common network connection, the computers will not be able to communicate with each other and share files. By following these steps and ensuring all computers are connected to the same network, file and folder sharing can be easily achieved among computer systems. The white router as seen in this video is my wireless router where my systems are connected to. You can also use a pocket MiFi device such as this. This is my first laptop and is already connected to the wireless router. This is the second laptop also connected to the same wireless router. Note that the steps in this video can be applied in both desktop and laptop computers as long as both systems are wireless enabled. Having established the network connection on both computers, on the first computer, locate and click on control panel. At the Control Panel environment, click Network and Sharing Center. You can see the wireless connection the first computer is connected to. By the left side of the Network and Sharing Center, click Change Advanced Sharing Settings. On this environment, select Private and make sure you turn on Network Discovery to enable your system to be visible for other computers on the network. Also turn on file and printer sharing to enable any shared file or folder or even shared printer to be seen by other computer users on the network. Select guest or public and repeat the same process. Finally, click on all network. Turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folder. Also enable file sharing and turn off password protected sharing as shown. Click Save Changes. But for me, I will click Cancel because everything is already looking fine. The next thing is to give your computer a unique name. Giving your computer a unique name enables your computer to be known 
and you can easily recognize any computer by the given name in a situation where you have multiple computers connected on the same network workgroup. Open my computer or this computer environment. Right-click on the empty space and select Properties. You will notice here the default computer full name, but no computer description. This is because I have not changed the computer name for the first time on this platform. To change the computer name and description, click Change Settings. On the Computer Description text box, Enter your computer description as seen. To change the computer name, click on Change. Type the new computer name. Leave the workgroup the way it is. Click OK. You will notice an error message because while typing the computer name, you don't give room for space or any special character as displayed in the error message. Such characters are not allowed. So click OK, remove the space in the unwanted characters and click OK. You must restart your computer to apply the changes. Click OK and click Apply. Go ahead and restart now. You can also restart later, but the changes will not take effect. Is good you save any unsaved document or file and restart. While the system is restarting, I will quickly configure the second computer using the same settings I used in the first computer. Everything looks fine at this point. The same thing goes for computer name and description. Make sure you have a different computer name and description on any other computer on the same wireless network. Everything looks fine on this second computer. On this second computer, I have this folder called Men. Inside the folder, there are many files. I will share this folder and see if I will be able to access the folder and the files from the first computer. To share the folder, follow the following steps. Right-click on the folder, scroll and click Properties. On the dialog box that will appear, click on the Sharing tab. Click on Advanced Sharing, Click Share this folder. Click to Mission. Click on Full Control. Click Apply and click OK again. Click on the Security tab. Click Edit. Click Add. Click Advanced. Click Find Now. At this search result panel, select and click Everyone and click OK. Click and tick the Full Control Option button. Click Apply and click OK. Then close the dialog box. Having gone through this process, you have successfully shared the selected folder to be accessed by other computers on the same wireless network. Now, I'm going to access the folder I shared on the second computer from the first computer. From the first computer, I will open this computer or my computer environment, scroll down to the left down part of the environment, and click Network. Now, the two configured systems connected to the same wireless router are displayed here. If you have more configured computers connected to the same wireless router, they will all be listed here. 
Speedtech MS is the second computer, while Speedtech system is the first computer if you can remember the name I used when I changed the system name. As I open the second computer here, all these are the shared folders located on second computer. Now see the recent folder that I shared on the second computer. As I open the folder, I have access to all the files inside the shared folder. The same way you access the shared folder on the second computer from first computer, you can also access a shared printer or scanner from one computer on another computer, as long as they are both connected on the same wireless network. Watch my previous video on how to share one printer with two or more computer systems on a network using LAN Ethernet cable. So this is the simple method of connecting two or more computer systems together for the purpose of sharing files and folders using wireless connection. I believe you find this video helpful. Write on the comments section if you have any questions on something you want us to assist you with. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share with your friends. If you want more videos like this, click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. See you in my next video and thanks for watching.